the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, Prince Harry and his wife Meghan, visited Nigeria for three days. They came on the invitation of the Nigerian Chief of Defence Staff, General Christopher Musa, ahead of Nigeria's hosting of the Invictus Games. The Invictus Games is an international sporting event for wounded, injured or sick armed servicemen and veterans. My name is F.S. Dimka KG. It was through a friend of mine, she was a colleague while I was serving in the unit. So when she heard about me, she said, oh, I think Gloria will be very, very interested in this. So I will talk to her. I got my injury from a road traffic accident. So I was driving with a friend, coming back from work and um, wanted to drop message to, a f to my family. So my friend helped me and that was when I had um, the accident. And it was really terrible because the only thing I could remember is when I saw them picking my leg in pieces from the ground and um, I was still conscious. One of my junior colleagues um, who met at the hospital when I was admitted in the military hospital and he told me about the Invictus uh, group and he also shared the link with me. And that was it. The concept for the games was developed by Prince Harry after being inspired by the Warrior Games held in the United States. The inaugural Invictus Games took place in London 2014 and since then the event has been held biannually in various cities around the world. And so Prince Harry and his wife Meghan were well received in Nigeria with traditional hospitality. Apart from visiting the defense headquarters in Abuja, Prince Harry stopped over at the Light Academy in Wuse and the Nigerian Reference Army Hospital in Kaduna. Is this new? This is uh, two years. When did you get that? You're a lost year. How's it working for you? Good? Have you given it a name? Here we have. Give it a name. Strong. You still getting used to it? And you're working with me. There was an exhibition volleyball match featuring the Chief of Defence Staff team and the Duke team.
For Prince Harry's wife, Megan, it was a homecoming because a recent DNA result indicated that she has 43% Nigerian ancestry. She co-hosted a Women in Leadership event with the Director General of the World Trade Organization, WTO, Dr. Ngozi Okonjo Iweala, on leading Nigerian women, moderated by media mogul Mo Abudu. Build your face for the next generation to say, oh, she looks like me, and I can be that. And I think that is a really key piece in all of it, where success isn't defined by, oh, you've gotten out, you've gone somewhere else. It's defined by, and you still always want to come back home, because that's how you're going to help shift any sort of generational pattern The Duke and Duchess of Sussex ran off their visit with a stopover in Lagos. So this is this is huge, no? This is a masquerade. This is a 3D printing. This is this is really unique. This is only this in Lagos. I'm sure they have their own experience of what Nigeria looks like. And we've extended additional invitation to them that they can always come back. You know when they want to also knowing fully well that megan has you know a decent percentage of nigerian in her all right and we've said we've, we've sort of like agreed that maybe that percentage should stay in yoruba land i don't know right um, but, but it's okay i can see she's been well attired and her yellow and yellow actually okay blends so very 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 well um today um, but we're indeed happy for what they are doing you know especially for our military men on this conversation around mental issues, mental health issues, mental illness, you know, and how they can galvanize their various NGOs and ensuring that people that require those support, um, both in military and in private, can seek those support. And the conversation around mental health issues, you know, is also something that we all live around. And you know, the denial, the stigmatization is out of our, you know, it's out of one of the things that. Uh, We've talked about. Prince Harry's visit to Nigeria followed his recent trip to the United Kingdom to mark the 10th anniversary of the Invictus Games. Going forward, Nigeria will collaborate with the Invictus as Prince Harry's foundation helps wounded service members and veterans through sport.